And you mentioned royal jelly being great for brain food, but I, you also touched on the link between fertility. Can you talk a little bit more about that? I know many people that listen to the podcast are interested in hormone health and fertility. Yeah. So, I mean, I can tell you for, for me right now, we're family planning. My husband and I both are like taking that royal jelly daily. Um, so in traditional Chinese medicine, it's been used for a very long time. And we also, we work with a lot of practitioners and we sell into some pr private practices. And what I see just, you know, looking at our customers, uh, particularly people who practice traditional Chinese medicine or practice with that kind of orientation, uh, they're using royal jelly when, when they take women off of birth control, which has just been like a learning for me. Uh, watching that happen. And so for me, when I went off birth control, I was taking royal jelly daily. There's been a few early studies. And again, most of the published science is around brain, just because we mm -hmm. know it has such a powerful effect there. But I also believe that over the next few years, we're going to see, especially with what we're seeing with fertility rates for men and women, there's going to be, you know, additional studies focused in that space. But I actually just read a study looking at menopausal women, and it found that royal jelly is a weak estrogen receptor modulator. And so, you know, it was, it was, the study was looking at menopausal women taking a thousand milligrams of royal jelly daily, reduce their menopause symptoms. So that was really cool. And then yeah. there's another study that's in progress. It's not completed yet, but they're looking at how royal jelly affects sperm. And they're looking at things like um, viability, DNA, maturation, all of that. And so far they're seeing really promising results. It hasn't been published yet. And then again, just anecdotally looking at how royal jelly is used. So I am very, very big on royal jelly for a number of reasons, but it's a major part of my routine right now.